Volcanoes are just a natural way that the Earth and other planets have in cooling off and releasing internal heat and pressure. Volcanoes erupt because of density and pressure. The lower density of magma relative to the surrounding rocks causes it to rise. Magma rises to cracks or weaknesses in the Earth's crust. When this pressure is released as a result of plate movement, magma explodes to the surface causing a volcanic eruption. The lava from the eruption cools to form new crust. Over time, after several eruptions, the rock builds up and a volcano forms. To ensure safety as much as possible, stay away from active volcanoes. If you live near an active volcano, keep goggles and a mask in an emergency kit, along with a flashlight and a working battery-operated radio. If a volcano erupts in your area, evacuate only as recommended by authorities to stay clear of lava, mud flows, and flying rocks and debris. Be aware that ash may put excess weight on your roof and need to be swept away. Wear protection during cleanups. Ash can damage engines and metal parts, so avoid driving. Volcanic eruptions can cause earthquakes, fast floods, mudslides, and rock falls. Lava can travel very fast and burn, bury, or damage anything in its path, including people, houses, and trees. The main good effect that volcanoes have on the environment is to provide nutrients to the surrounding soil. Volcanic ash often contains minerals that are beneficial to plants, and if it is very fine ash, it is able to break down quickly and get mixed into the soil. But the negative effect is the gases, such as carbon dioxide, causing warming by adding to the greenhouse effect. So that's it for this natural phenomena. Let's move on to... Bye. A landslide is the movement of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. They result from the failure of materials which make up the land hill slope and driven by the force of the gravity. The causes of landslide are elevation of poor water, pressure by saturation of slope, material from either intense or prolonged rainfall or seepage, vibration caused by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Landslide is used to describe many rapid forms of mass wasting. These are rockfall which is simply the dislodging of a rock from a steep slope or cliff, rock slides, a large scale movements of rock traveling rapidly down a slope along a surface, slump that is a movement of material down a slope on a curved slip surface, and creep which is the slow progression of a material down a slope. Because water is the main factor in landslide, improving surface and subsurface drainage at the site can increase stability of landslide prone slope. Landslide prone soil and rock can be removed and replaced with stronger materials such as silty or sandy soils. Trees, grasses, and vegetation can minimize the amount of water infiltrating into the soil, slow the erosion caused by surface water flow, and remove water from the soil. Constructing paths and retaining walls are also one of the prevention. Piles are metal beams that are either driven into the soil or replaced in drill holes. Properly placed piles should extend into a competent rock layer below the landslide. So that's it for landslide. Let's move on to earthquake. An earthquake happens when two blocks of the earth slip past one another and the surface where it happens is what we call the fault plane. However, the earthquake begins at the hypocenter and above on it is the epicenter. We all know that the earth has four major layers. These are the crust, mantle, the outer and the inner core. The crust is the outermost and it is made up of thin skin. But this thin skin is not all in one piece. In fact, this is like a jigsaw puzzle that is covering the surface of the earth. Not only that, but these puzzle pieces keep slowly moving around, sliding past one another and bumping into each other. And that is earthquake. They use a seismogram recordings made up on the seismographs to determine how large the earthquake was. A short wiggly line represents a small earthquake. However, a long wiggly line represents a long earthquake. To ensure safety, have an earthquake readiness plan. Consult a professional to learn how to make your home sturdier, such as bolting bookcases to wall studs, 
installing strong latches and cupboards, and strapping the water heater to wall studs. Locate a place in each room of the house that you can go to in case of an earthquake. It should be a spot where nothing is likely to fall on you, like a door frame. Keep a supply of canned goods, an up-to-date first aid kit, 3 gallons of water per person, dust masks, and goggles and a working battery operated radio and flashlights in an accessible place. If shaking begins, drop down, take a cover under a desk or table and hold on. Stay indoors until the shaking stops and you're sure it's safe to exit. Stay away from bookcases or furniture that can fall on you. That concludes the video about the geo phenomena. I hope you like it. Thank you. I'm flying. <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> I'm flying! Oh no!